simultaneous equations. Now I'm going to solve these pair of simultaneous equations um, a completely different way. We're going to use a thing called a determinant. Now this determinant is a very simple thing. It's just a really little, a little mini algorithm. And all that means is that when you've got that set up this way, it means that uh, you write this AD, A, a multiplied by D, minus B times C. Okay, and we're going to use that to uh, solve these equations in a very simple method. Okay, let's set up these determinants now. The, I'm going to find the value of X first. To do that, I've got a determinant here. That determinant is made up from the numbers that are in front of the X and the Y. So you'll see that there's a 5 and a 3, a 5 and a 3 there, and it's going to be a 1 in front of the, the Y's. The top one, a little bit hard to work out, right? I set this up by keeping the Y's the same, but you'll see here, I'll just emphasize this, you'll see these numbers here, these ones, this one and this one, right? Well, they've replaced the 5 and the 3. So where was 5 and 3 before? The 7 and the 5 just slot in there. Right? And then the next part's quite simple. You multiply the 7 times the 1, there it is there, minus the 1 times the 5, and the bottom, the same thing, 5 times the 1, and one time, minus 1 times the 3. And of course, 7 minus 5 gives me the 2, and 5 minus 3 gives me the 2, which gives the answer 1. The great thing about these determinants, it doesn't matter how difficult these numbers are, the operation is going to be the same every time. All right, now we'll work out um, the the y value. Now you said, well, once I've got the x value, I could have put it back in the equation and get the y value very quickly. But I just want to show you how you'd set up for, for the y. Same sort of thing. You keep this determinant down the bottom. is exactly the same as this one over here. So that doesn't change. Of course, the result won't change either. So you'll still get a 2 down here. And what, what happens this time is that we maintain the, the x values, but we just simply swap over the y values. So instead of having the 1, the 1 there, I put these constants in its place. And away we go again. 5 times 5 over here, minus 7 times the 3. And of course, that's 25 take away 21, which is 4. And 4 on 2 gives me 2. So the solution is x equals 1 and y equals 2. Now I'll give you another pair for you to have a go at, and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you the solutions to it. All right, here's the two equations, x minus 7y equals 2, and 3x plus y equals 6. Okay, now pause the video, and have a go yourself, and then I'll put up the solutions. All right, here we go. So again, we for the one down the bottom, it's 1, 3, minus 7, and a 1 down the bottom here. And again, all I have to do is maintain the y's, slot the 2 and the 6 over, and we get the result 2. Same on the other side, but to keep that the same, just replace now, this time the y's get replaced with the 2 and the 6, and we get the result of a 0 on the top. And that was the answer, x equals 2 and y equals 0. Now, uh, just one little little thing. If you get a zero in down here, you won't you won't get to, uh, you won't have any values for x or y. Right? Now, what happens with that, of course, is when both these lines are parallel, because then that'll be indeterminate, and of course there won't be any point in the section. So you can quickly look at that that little result there, and you'll see that if it's if those determinants gives you zero, then there is no solutions.